everybody. Today we have Dell XPS 15 model 9520. It's an Intel Core i7 11th gen, 12th gen laptop with a great graphics RTX 3050. Let's take it apart. Let's see what we can replace, fix or upgrade. So you have to take out all the bottom screws. Next, you have to separate the bottom case from the palm rest. So find a gap where you can put your sponger and work your way around the edge to disconnect all the clips. Bottom is out. Here we have the part number. Now we have access to all the internal components. Let's start with disconnecting the battery. So if your laptop doesn't hold the charge or the battery is swollen, you can replace the battery. Take out these screws. Here we have the speaker wire, it's attached to the battery, so let's disconnect it. And one more screw here in the corner. And now we can take out the battery. Here we have the part number and the model number. So now Let's see our storage. Under that cover, you have your storage. So if your laptop doesn't boot, says no boot device, or you would like to upgrade your storage to the bigger one, this is how you do it. Also, oh, actually, there should be storage. This uh, laptop was missing one, but here in those slots, this is where you put your SSD storage. Now let's see the memory. Here we have memory, let's spread those arms. Now we can take out the memory. That's the DDR5. So you can replace it or upgrade to the bigger one if you want to. That's another one. Now let's see if we can disconnect our speakers. Okay, so here we have one screw for the speaker. It is connected to the motherboard, so we'll disconnect it. And that's the second speaker. So if your sound is bad, replace these speakers. Here we have the part number. Now we can take out our fans and the heat sink. So if your laptop overheats or the fans are not spinning or making grinding noise, replace this part. So take out all the screws. Oh, looks like we can take out the speaker before we take out the heat sink. So, no, not speaker, fan. So that's our fan, that's our part number. 
And here, that's the other side, disconnected from the motherboard. One more screw here. So, to take out this fan, you have to take out this bracket. Now we can take out the fan. Here we have the part number. Now we can take out the heat sink. Be very gentle with the heat sink. Don't bend it. Right. Here we have the part number. Now we are pulling out our motherboard. So let's take out all the screws and disconnect all the connectors. Here we have our Wi-Fi antenna. Unfortunately, the Wi-Fi card is soldered on the motherboard, so you cannot replace it. You would have to replace the whole motherboard. Those are antenna wires, so let's disconnect them. Here we have under that bracket we have video cable, so we have to disconnect this. More screws for the motherboard. Now let's disconnect all the connectors. Here. Okay, so that's our motherboard. Here we have the part number. That's our I.O. board with our card reader. Now we have access to our Palmrest keyboard touchpad assembly. As you can see, the keyboard is riveted to the palm rest, so you cannot take it out. If you have to replace it, you have to buy the whole palm rest keyboard assembly. The touchpad is held by screws, so you could replace just the touchpad if you have to. Let's unscrew the hinges so we can separate the palm rest assembly. So that's our 
armrest keyboard that got assembled. Usually sold in one piece. If you need parts, check gatlaptopparts.com. Uh, here we have the part number. And that's our screen. It's very fragile, so I wouldn't recommend to take out the LCD. It's the best way to replace it is to buy the whole assembly. This is how usually it's sold. Check gatlaptopparts.com. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.